Hi and welcome to a new video. My name is Emil Dingemans and I'm the owner of Magistly, email marketing agency for e-commerce brands. And in today's video, I will share with you how to create a high converting browser abandonment flow inside Klaviyo. So you'll discover the power of creating a browser abandonment flow in Klaviyo and effectively engage potential customers who have shown interest in your products but haven't proceeded to the checkout. So let's get straight in my computer and I'll share with you the exact formula you can use as an e-commerce brand. First of all, what is browse abandonment? So unlike abandoned cart flows where a visitor must add an item to their cart, browse abandonment flows are triggered simply by a visitor viewing a product on your store and then moving on. So this means that even if they haven't taken concrete action, you can still capture their attention and drive them back to your website. While visiting a product page may not indicate the same level of intent as adding an item to the card and initiating the checkout process, browser abandonment messages offer a lighter touch point approach. So by adopting a more subtle and personalized strategy, you can gently remind your potential customers about the products they show interest in, creating an opportunity to re-engage them and ultimately increase conversion. So in this video, we'll guide you through the process of setting up an abandoned flow in Klaviyo, allowing you to leverage this powerful feature and turning browsing visitors into valuable customers for your brand. So let's get started. So if you go inside Klaviyo, if you go to your integration space, first what you wanna make sure of is that the viewed product snippet is on. So you can track the people uh, and the action that they're doing that they're viewing a the product on your store. So if you go to the integration space, uh, page in your Klaviyo account, you click on Shopify and what you'll see uh, under the on-site tracking page is that and here you have the add viewed product tracking to my site, make sure this, this is clicked on and you can update the settings. So um, this will make sure that the viewed product trigger is enabled on your store and in your Klaviyo account. Then if you go to flows and create flow, what you can do, you can search for browse abandonment. And then you can see a few standard build flows by um, by Klaviyo. Uh, the one that you can take is this one with the Shopify icon. And if you click on it, you can see in here that this is the, the, the standard browser abandonment flow setup with the trigger when someone viewed product. And what you should see in here the, uh, is that the Shopify integration is enabled and you're all set viewed product data is syncing to Klaviyo. So you click on create flow and then you have the standard build out uh, flow with just one email in this case and with all the flow filters and trigger filters that you can set up and the first time delay which standard is two hours uh, for this uh, for this flow and the first email that you can see in here very quick so if you're an e-commerce brand owner and you're doing over 25k a month of revenue and you need some help with your email marketing or other areas of your rotation marketing go to the description down below, click on the link and book a call with me to discuss if we can help you generate a lot more revenue out of your retention marketing. So again, go to the link in the description and book a call now. So the flow filters we like to use for the browser abandonment flows are first of all, checkout started zero times in starting this flow, placed order zero times in starting this flow, added to cart zero times in starting this flow and has not been in the flow in the last 30 days. Obviously, these are probably quite logical. You don't want to send the browser abandonment flow to people who are adding the product to their cart or even starting the checkout or even placing the order. You don't want to send this flow to these people. You only want to send this flow to the people who have viewed the product on your website, but then didn't continue with the next step, which is adding a product to their cart. And also, we don't want to send this email uh, flow too often. So that's why we have a flow filter set up where we make sure that if they have received this browser abandonment flow in the last 30 days are not selling this flow either. Also, depending on your niche and on your brand, you can uh, change the setting for let's say the last 14 days or even longer like 90 days if that's necessary for a certain niche or brand. Then the um, emails themselves. So the first email, we want to send this first email about 30 minutes to two hours after they viewed a product on your store. Uh, this is something you want to A-B test and also want to think logical about it. So it uh, doesn't make more sense for your brand and niece to send an email 30 minutes after viewing a product or makes it more sense to send two hours later. Uh, for example, if you have an AOV of like $800, then it probably makes more sense since the buying process takes a bit longer to set the timing at two hours 
but let's say your AOV is like $40, then it makes more sense to use like 30 minutes or up to an hour. Uh, but again, you can A-B test this with a version with 30 minutes and a version with two hours and see what works best for your audience. So the objective of this first email would be to remind people about viewing your product or products at your store. So the content is just a simple reminder. Plus you might like this, so a bestseller section to guide them towards other products because it might be they've seen a product in your store and uh, they didn't like it and that's why they go they went away from your store. But by showing the, you, them your bestsellers, it might re-engage them to go and view those products at your store. Then the second email, you can send this one day later. So uh, now we want to remind people, but now with a personal email. So send a personal email from the founder or another fictive person from your company. Again, you want people to remind them of the products that they viewed at your store. You want to talk about your products and the USPs and refer them back to the product page. The third email one day later, now we want to convince your audience with an incentive. So uh, we've sent them two simple reminders. This hasn't converted, so now we want to convince them with an incentive. So give them an incentive. This could be a really small incentive like free shipping or a small percentage or dollar amount of. Um, and again, remind people of the items they've viewed and encourage them to return with the discount code provided. And again, add in a lot of social proof again, so reviews, testimonials, user-generated content, and also authority things like press releases and stuff like that. Also help, help build up that authority and confidence for the people to go to your store and buy the item that they've seen. Then the last email, the fourth email, again, one day later, we want to convince them with urgency. So one last reminder, say that the incentive is expiring, mention your USBs once again, and include social proof again. Um, put the focus on the urgency that there's just one day left for them to use this gun code and to buy the product on a huge big discount. And um, this is just the best way to convince them in this last email. So a few examples of emails that you could send. These are from our clients. So let's, for example, take a take shots. So what we do in here, thanks for stopping by, uh, immediately a call to action button with continue browsing. So we noticed you recently browsed our store but didn't take the shot. Grab it now before it's too late. Type your load, pick up where you left off, we'd hate for you to miss out. A dynamic product block of the items that they viewed and complete my order. We show off some USPs of the products. Uh, we show them some, some other uh, products or variants in this case. So which one will you choose? A shop now button again. And some authority, so Super Bowl champ, Todd Davis approved, shop now. Another example, Mercy, this is a different approach. Mercy, don't miss this. So we load in a dynamically uh, image in here. So this is the actual product they, that they have viewed and also the name of the product in here. Get 50% off, use code favorite15, save 50% now. Don't wait for your favorite items to sell out and you're 50% off. So um, yeah, this is obviously a, a third email of the sequence. So we're not giving away discounts straight away. Um, but after a few emails, we, we sent uh, this version with an incentive inside. And uh, what we also do, have you seen our customer favorites? So show our best sellers to convince them to watch our items, obviously with a fashion brand. This is highly recommended to do and also on our brands. And finally, some social proof. So see what our customers are saying to convince them with social proof as well. Call to action and a footer bar where we highlight our use space. So uh, for example, free shipping, easy returns and exchanges and happiness guaranteed. Uh, and also again, some, some, some buttons to different product categories. So these are just a few examples of a good browser betterment emails that are converting on a, at a very high level. And that's it. This is how to create a high converting browser abandonment flow inside Clavio. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I hope to speak to you soon on the next video.